if it's if this is a false bottom, which which I think it very well could wow. be, um, and we go, uh, you know, maybe not significantly lower, maybe down to the 40-ish range or something, the like $40 range or right. something like that, then then you got to be very careful because if you, if you lay on too thick and you make those bets too much because we were at 52 or whatever and you know higher in, in oil, mm -hmm. then then you know, you can get you can get really hurt over a low volatility period in the summertime. If 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 there's not a lot of volume, if people are are kind of you know hands offish and seeing what's going on, that you, you're going to be stuck with that for quite some time. Uh, so, uh, one thing on oil, because we talked about this I think two months mm -hmm. ago. My view is that Trump is going to be very good for producing oil right. in the U.S., right. but that does not translate to higher prices. You're right. seeing the rig count go up. You have a lot of companies that are able to turn the spigot on. So I think we're going to see a big push towards domestic production, but I think that's actually going to be harmful and you know keep a top on the price of oil. The other part that has really been part of the story for a while has been the Saudis had every incentive to talk this up ahead of the Aramco IPO. As right. that looks more and more like it might just be bought by China, that their story and their mission is failing a little bit, I think that's going to add pressure where people realize, you know what, the Saudis can't support this going forward. We're having U.S. production going up. So we've been kind of a 40 to 55 range. I think we're going to get back to that 40. 